good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is supervisor william and today i am starting the series which i'm so excited to finally finally start and i've also been very nervous which is why it's taken me like a long time to actually get started but i'm starting bougie on a budget and for the first installment i am doing bougie on a budget cape town like, cape town work day basically like how us cape townians work in a day obviously it's not true to everyone most people like go to the office or some people just work from home because of you know the c word <laughs> um but some people i've noticed in cape town are so chill and so lax that they just work in like restaurants and their work day is literally them like hopping from restaurant to restaurant and watching sunsets and things like that so i wanted to do something like that okay so my budget for the day is 300 rand and that includes the food and the transport wherever i'm going and technically does include my gym because today i'm kind of gymming for free but i'll give you guys the tips and stuff and tricks on how to do that in a second i'm gonna go from two beaches i'm gonna be basically watching the morning sun from one beach and then watching the sunset from a, another beach on the other side of Cape Town. I'm doing it as a vlog so that you guys can see me actually do this and experience this and know that like it works. So yeah, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you know when I post new videos and know when I post new parts of the Bougie on a Budget series. Also comment and like this video if you enjoy it or if you find it helpful and also comment what you did find helpful or what else you'd like to know. What I am going to be doing throughout the video is I'm going to be actually putting the calculations and like the distance travels and everything i'm going to write those like next to me on the screen somewhere so that you guys can also see them and try and make this video as detailed as possible so basically one of the things that you definitely definitely need to do when you know you're going to need like favors or you're going to need someone to do something for you and offer it for free is be nice <laughs> i think that's like the the Best thing I could put it, be nice, be kind, be friendly, and just engage with people. That's how you also build connections in workplaces. That's how you build connections in like social media, just everywhere in life. That's how you build connections. So for me, my gym membership is paid for by my dad. However, if you don't have a Virgin Active Gym membership, you can find a friend that has a, gym, a Virgin Active Gym membership and they can get you a session for free. So let's say on this particular day, you want to be super bougie and do all the bougie things. Then you say on that day, hey friend, uh, can you please just contact Virgin Active and get me a pass? And then they'll get you a pass and you can go with your friend for free for that day. So that's tip number one on how to get in for free at Virgin Active specifically. I know there are other cheaper gyms, but I personally like Virgin Active and that's just the gym my family has always used. And then the second part is I am getting a trainer, a Virgin Active trainer, and he is training me for free for the next three sessions. And that's purely because I was really super nice to him. And this was from last year and he gave me tips and everything. And I was just, you know, willing. And even though he was putting me through a lot, because I know he's a hectic trainer, even though he was putting me through a lot, I did all of those things that he asked me because I was, I was doing that in hopes that when I want to train with him again, he will either reduce the price or be like, okay, I can train you once more for free or any of those things. Because a month with a trainer is about 2,400. And then I'll just put down the calculation for how much that is per session. Like that's 2,400 for two sessions a week. Yeah. So divided by four is 1,200, 600. It's about 300 rand a session. Yeah. So it's 300 rand a session for, for a month, basically. And he's given me three of those for free this week, starting today. So that's how I saved on that one. Just honestly, like doing the things, gymming hard. He killed me that day. I'll never forget it. But I just did everything that he was saying because I knew that he'll be like, oh, she's enthusiastic, she's willing, whatever, and all that. And then when I contacted him, he was like, okay. Because I said to him, hey, oh, I don't have money right now. I can start next next week um, when it's like a new month. And then he was like, okay, let's just do these for free. I didn't tell you that. I did not tell you that. But um, yeah, so let's continue to the gym and I will carry on from there. 
I've made it to the gym. Um, there's a lot of music, so I can't vlog, guys. Like, I can't vlog. Also, the gym is so scary and intimidating. <gasps> okay, so I went to go on a tripod. Oh, my skin looks nice in this. Uh, this is like the, the heat thing, thing, thing. Um, this is the last time you'll see me being human. I'm sure after this, I am going to be dead. My skin looks so nice under this heat lighting. I'll show you what, this, what it looks like. I'm out. I'm still heavy breathing, you guys. I. Oh. Yo, the gym bunnies must be lying to you guys. Surely it's 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 not as cute as they make it look on Instagram. I am. I stopped training so long ago, but I'm still sitting. But I did have to do a cool down because my legs are jelly right now, so I did a cool down um on the elliptical um but yeah yeah oh my gosh jeez um so my trainer said by next week i'll be fine meaning yo parking ticket i didn't even feel the drop meaning that for the next four sessions i'm not going to be fine because next week is very far away next week is not tomorrow Next week is very far away. Anyway, um, I'm going home now and I'm gonna just shower at home, get ready, and try and look cute so that I can go and have um, breakfast by the beach. And the nice thing about where I'm having breakfast is that it's actually a spot that everyone goes to. Um, on the Bloberg side to have breakfast it's called on the rocks i'm sure you guys have seen a lot of people post it on instagram and then you're like wondering where are the people having breakfast it's such a cute place that's like right on the beach and opposite table mountain it's on the rocks they usually don't post that it's on the rocks because they're trying to like you know keep it exclusive but i'm going to take you guys and their menu is relatively cheap um there are expensive items but then the breakfast menu is like super cheap so that's another thing one of my biggest tips is to always check out the menus before you go because um you can figure out what is cheaper breakfast lunch or dinner at that place and then you can go when it's the cheapest because it doesn't it doesn't matter what time you're going as long as you're there you know when you're taking the pictures and you're posting about it because i think a lot of the times you're trying to look bougie when you want to do bougie things it's either obviously you just want to do it for yourself or you're doing it so that you can post about it so if you're going to a place for breakfast and you know the breakfast is cheap people aren't going to know that you're going there because you're going for the cheap breakfast they're going to think that you're just there because you found this really bougie spot and you could afford to go there and all of that um 
yeah so that's what that's what matters we'll talk about it more when i'm there i'll give you some more tips and that's just and that's just how i want to do this series is that like i give you the tips as we go along with everything and all of that so i'll see you guys when i'm ready and cute and mom's sweet <laughs> i am ready to well it was meant to be breakfast but it's gonna be like a brunch now because it's almost like one um i got ready and everything um so before we go and eat and everything i do want to mention that one of the most important things when you look bougie is like your reception at a restaurant or wherever you arrive like how you arrive one you need to be confident you need to walk like you own the room don't walk in looking down at your phone don't walk in like kind of looking lost and all that you need to walk in as though you own the, the whole damn restaurant as though you could buy every single person in that restaurant a meal even if you have one rand to your name you know what i mean that's the first thing and that's something that i always do and i've realized the reception of that is that people almost have this perception that i i have my knee and, and all of these things then the second is that again be kind guys it's, it goes so far and i know you guys have commented like on some of my videos saying oh my word like you're so nice when i do like when i make orders in like the drive through and i say thank you and please and all these things these go a long way especially for people who work in the service industry like you can imagine how many people they they have to meet every day and like, some people just rude so it's nice when someone is nice to them they notice that so do that and then the third one which is also really important is that especially in cape town make reservations or call the restaurant beforehand so what i've already done is i call the restaurant and ask them if i have to make a reservation saying around what time i'm coming and then when i get there what i'm going to do is because i didn't make a reservation i'm just going to get there and be like oh hi i'm the one who called earlier I want a table that's by the beach, whatever. And they'll be like, oh, she's serious because she called earlier and she knew she was coming here ahead of time. We were worth her time, worth her planning coming here and all these things. Also, when you have a reservation, they'll be like, oh, they'll know your name. And like, it's, it's just it just works out so well. Sorry, my thingy is blinding me. Um, and because of that, like places like Bilboa and Camps Bay, when I call and I tell them my name, they're like, oh, it's going to be great to have you again. So like they know me because I'm, I'm, they're used to me calling and making reservations and I can request tables and they're more likely to give me the tables that I want and things like that. Azure, five star restaurant. They know me. I actually speak to one of the, um, the front desk ladies uh, at the restaurant and she tells me all the events she tells me when there's a new menu and that's only because as i was leaving i was like i always come here i always want to know when the new menus come in and she was like oh let's take your details and i'll personally send you whenever we have new menus and things like that and i'll take you guys with me when they have a new menu coming on september and things like that so that's really important that's a really big tip that i think maybe you knew it maybe you didn't but just as going forward that can help you and all of the things that i just said are literally completely free all of the things that i just mentioned to you guys are completely free being nice greeting all of that it's free smiling and even giving like a good tip if you have the money that also goes a long way just be kind to people and it will also make you look better and bougier and also sometimes if you're really nice to your waiter he'll even take pictures of you like today i'm gonna dress up a little bit because it's it's the lunch part of it a lunch part of my work and the work that i'm gonna be doing is more like my inner work luckily for me or unfortunately for me i don't know um i'm not working i'm not working in nine to five and i'm not in school so the work that i have to do is social media work but then also i get like homework from like my therapist and stuff like that so for this i'm going to do my therapist homework and my journaling and things like that and then for the second part of the day i'm going to do like my my influencer work and all of that so let's get going Um, 
it's really cold outside i might i might have to move inside but i'm gonna get like the views for you guys and then i'll move inside and like do the proper vlogging uh, i might have to take like that corner table <laughs> It's extremely cold, honey. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just get some content and then we'll, we'll get to talking. Okay, so that's what it looks like here. I don't get the view of Table Mountain. I think maybe from like another seat. Um, I was sitting down there first and this is what the restaurant looks like. Try not to show the people. It's very beautiful. So, I had planned my um, meal according to the breakfast menu and it's not breakfast anymore, so I have to make do. And don't be afraid, my loves, of just ordering from the starter menu because as you can see, the maize right there, uh, very pricey. Unless you're ordering this, which doesn't sound great to me. I don't eat, restaurant, eat chicken at restaurants because sometimes it's a bit too dry. The next cheapest one is this one, 80, or this 85 round one, which it's a bit, don't trust them. So what I'm going to do is instead order these oysters, but I just need to know how many they are, because they're 28 rand, and then also order this ostrich, which is 98 rand, and then you order, add that together, it's about 126 rand. Which is within budget, which is fine. is fancy or not. The main meal has arrived. This is kudu. Uh, I forgot what else. <laughs> well, I suppose carrots and baby marrow and a mashed potato. Also, this is really big for me. Every other black person who eats um, 
their starch and everything and save the meat for last because the meat is the best part. But now I'm full. So I guess this might be my supper. Because yesterday, yesterday I ate three full meals and I was so full and I was like, I'm never eating three full meals again. Um, I'm used to eating two meals and I've been doing that since 2015, since varsity. Because in varsity, like, lunch started at 11 so it made more sense to pick the two meal option when you have lunch and supper so i've been used to eating two meals um for so long you guys can tell i think i'm ready to sleep i have so much work i have to still edit a video that i really want to go up today for you guys sorry um yeah and i'm excited because i think james well it's confirmed, James is going to join me at Starbucks and then we're going to have like a work date. Um, sorry. On the topic of bougie, on the budget. So this whole day, I feel like if you do it with a friend and you guys, so the, the petrol um, is 100 rand for all the places that we're going to. So if you have a friend that has a car and you guys split the 100 rand and then you only spend 200 or 300 on the two different places that you eat at, don't be like me, be on time for the breakfast because the breakfast menu is so much cheaper and I obviously missed it. So I did have to go over budget a little bit for this. Um, but like you guys will see where I save in a bit. Um, so yeah, if you split it between two people, that means you guys each pay like 250 and you have a great day. And then maybe that's the friend that has the Virgin Active membership and can invite you in for a day for free. And then uh, maybe you have the car and then you got, you're driving everywhere and 100 Rand Petrol does all of that. And then you guys can turn around on food and Starbucks. The other thing I want to talk about is just I love this place. I want to rate it. I don't know if I'm too rude to do it while I'm in the restaurant. Um, I would rate the food. I rate the food like a good 7 out of 10. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. It's just I've had better, you know? But for the experience, I would give it a 10 out of 10 because you're right by the beach. Like, and if I wasn't a, a Negro who gets cold, well, they are black people outside. <laughs> but if I wasn't like someone who gets cold easily, um, it would have been even better because you literally are on the rocks and you're by the water and for me being by the water I've said this a million times in my vlogs. I love being by the water and it is a, like we, we in high school if we had a really bad day at school my mom would buy us food and then you just go sit at beachfront and things would feel better because it, it just feels like an endless possibility the horizon feels like an endless possibility and like it reminds of that and it, it reminds you of how even though you can't see further than you know the horizon you know there's so much more out there there's, the world is big and there's just so much more to reach out for and to aspire to and all things so i love being around water so to have a restaurant that's literally right on the beach i think is really beautiful the experience is 10 out of 10. um like i said breakfast menu is a lot cheaper the summer menu is probably the most expensive and the lunch menu is like mid-level expensive so unfortunately for me i did the lunch menu which is not saving as much money but also it's, it's a lot more easier to come for breakfast by the way but the experience is still there and yeah okay now i need to finish up this coffee get going so that I can get my work stuff and get trotted over to Starbucks in Camps Bay and I'll teach you a couple of tricks about certain places like places that came to Africa as like a big name brand I'm going to teach you a couple of tricks on how to <coughs> I'm going to teach you a couple of tricks on how to uh, play their systems you know play their systems to advantage because these places are expensive but if you play their game you will come out on top and save money okay why do i look like i'm like this warm little fuzzy little girl okay so waiting to get fetched because they need to use my car to fetch my brother but I'm seeing quite a few things around here. Um, there's like this cool studio art gallery. I'm a bit too afraid to go in by myself because it looks like a house that someone could kidnap me in. Um, but if you have someone that's show, it's fine. There's that, the lighthouse, which also I think has like, you can go to the beach and like eat by the beach. And like that way, 
is the beach. Um, you just go further down that way. And then yeah, it looks pretty chilled from here. Oh, I'll show you what on the rocks looks like on the outside as well. That's what it looks like. And it's literally just the beach behind it. You can see like there. That the beach is right there. So yeah. Okay, so before I carry on and go to work at Starbucks, I wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit. If you guys know or if you guys remember, I a couple months ago said that I want to just revamp, not revamp really, but just the type of content on my channel. I want to like refine it and make it things that are more relatable to me and things that I actually do. And this bougie on a budget series is definitely one of those things. Um, as you guys know, but it took me a while to really get into it and know how to approach it and things like that and Today's sponsor fits perfectly into this today's sponsor is Skillshare Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video as you guys may know. I've been working with Skillshare now for 13 months and I'm super super grateful because Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes where you can explore new skills, expand your creativity or passion. Skillshare has classes that fit not only your schedule but your skill level too. It's also created specifically for learning so there are no ads. They are always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The classes I've been watching range from the topics of photography, film and video, fine arts and productivity, entrepreneurship and marketing. Skillshare is for creatives with curious minds and lifelong learners. As I mentioned, I watched classes this month that were geared towards branding myself and how I can brand my channel and the videos that I do going forward. The classes that I personally enjoyed this month were Blogging for Beginners, Fashion, Beauty and Lifestyle by Chantal Fashion, a freelance marketer and designer. And my favorite class that I've probably ever taken on the platform is Personal and Lifestyle Branding, Build Your Story by Kate Ahrens, founder of Wit and Delight. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I also appreciate when you guys comment down below and tell me that you have tried out Skillshare and if it's working for you and all that good stuff because it supports the channel and I appreciate the support very much. Okay, let's get going to work at Starbucks. Okay, so we made it to Starbucks. Here's James. We're in Camps Bay on the promenade. How do I show you guys? Wait. Okay, so yeah, it's the promenade, the one that has like the famous Balboa and Tinchilla and everything, right by the beach in Camps Bay. And we are coming to Starbucks. Oh my gosh, the Starbucks is very nice. The Starbucks is beautiful. The Starbucks is so pretty. I need to show you guys. And then it's like a coffee though. Yeah, you can mix it in the coffee. So it's obviously not going to be that sweet in mm. the coffee, but it has that sweet element. Okay. I'll try it. What's that going to get for you? One of the biggest ones since you're using your water. Yes. <laughs> please. So it comes with what cream do you want it or should I leave it? Um, what cream? Yes, please. Do you want to get your name? Um, Spock guys. S I P H O K A Z I. Oh, you did say hi, right? Sorry. Crowd, crowd. All right, hi. 
Okay, so on to like the bougie, bougie on a budget agenda of the video. I did redeem my free Starbucks and obviously what am I going to do if I'm getting something for free? I'm going to get the biggest drink there is. I got a, what's this? a venti. Yeah, I got a venti. Um, white chocolate mocha or white mocha? Mocha white? I got a venti mocha something. Something I can't pronounce. That's how you know it's the bougie one. When you don't know what it is and you can't pronounce it, like that's how you know. So that's what I got. What? Oh, is it stars? Oh, it's smiley faces. Did you get smiley faces? Uh, I was about to be like, well, <laughs> What, 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 what are you trying to do? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so that was for free, which then keeps the budget like still under. Again, like I said, the petrol is included. But what I am also going to be including, which you guys would have seen by now, is the bus routes to all the different stops and how much they cost. There's literally a bus stop right there. I can see it like right in front of us. So the My City bus goes everywhere, and that's the fun part about it. And it is just another form of transport that I want to include as an option in the video because when I was in high school, in grade 8 and 9, we used to use the My City bus to go everywhere. It would be so cheap. Like Waterfront was 10 Rand, so we'd go to Waterfront for 10 Rand. I mean, now I know it's a bit more expensive, but still, this whole trip on the My City bus, from my calculations, is no more than 60 Rand. No more than 60 Rand. So it's pretty good. Um, and then obviously, you get a beautiful view, and the Starbucks is quite beautiful. We're gonna work together um, on something to see. For now, things are coming. Yeah. as I would because I'm, I'm used to having like the caramels and the, and the, and the things like that um, so it's not that sweet but it's like good enough I guess it's it's all right it's all right I'm all, I'm all right with it we're gonna carry on working here for a couple hours and then the best part about working in Cape Town is that you can watch the sunset from the beach or like on Lion's Head or whatever so we're gonna choose and the thing that makes that bougie on a budget is the fact that they're all free. The beach is free, Lion's Head is free, Signal Hill is free, all of them are free and you can literally watch the most beautiful sunsets. So we're already the side in Camps Bay and yeah, we're just gonna go to one of those to watch the sunset in a couple hours. It's, it's like half past four right now. So in about two hours, one, you know, I'm done getting the grunt work done. We're gonna be headed to watch a beautiful sunset because that's how Cape Townians do it. Beautifully, and the view is just as amazing. I'll show you guys how 
Do when you're nervous or when you feel like your lips are dry? The, the lips My lips are dry. Oh, okay. Where's the thing? In the bag. Sorry. Why do you keep carrying these sugars around? Where are you taking them? I'm black. Am I embarrassing you? I can't believe it. No, you're not embarrassing me. Nothing could embarrass me. Um, when you reach a level of money and comfortability, nothing can embarrass you. You don't care. But it's the fact that you came at me for eating KFC at Starbucks, yet here you are Where is stealing it? Starbucks sugar on the side by the pad. It's funny how when you're sitting down you look shorter than me. Because of that big ass of your lips. Sorry? Your ass is what's giving you inches. <laughs> no, it's your posture. Nope, real. It's your ass is giving you inches, I swear to god. Okay, I'm actually not gonna answer this because this is this is rude. This is this is rude. Rude. Well because Ayanda and I watched the video with Ayanda intensively. And then like I also saw that like she's actually like significantly taller. No, she's than way taller than me. Yeah. So how come when she sits down you actually get on the same fucking level? Because she has terrible posture. No, she was actually there was one point where you said something like I don't know what you said, but she literally like was like what the fuck are you talking about? With like the She's got long legs. Eat your ass. That's what I got. I've got a long neck too. No, the thing is, you could be you could be sitting on like one of those chairs where your legs are swinging and you still be taller than someone. Really? Yeah. So I've got a long torso. Uh. She's in denial. She's in denial. I said I've got a long torso. Because you know people with long torsos, they look taller when they're sitting. <coughs> they stand up, they're the short ones. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So I've got a short torso. We'll measure you one day. We are now going to leave Starbucks. It's about an hour until sunset, and we're gonna actually we've decided because I'm hurting from the gym, um, and I don't want to walk up Lion's Head. And also being here at the beach is really cold. We're gonna go to like this one spot that's like higher up. I think the sunset will be beautiful from there, and then yeah, we'll we'll watch. Yeah. yeah, we're going to watch the sunset from this spot um, that we've never been to before. Up the road. Oh, okay. okay. We've made it to the spot, and it looks really beautiful. <laughs> I'm not that I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is where it is, and you can see everything, like from Camps Bay. Um, all the way down. Well, I don't think you can't see, yeah, you can't see like Clifton and stuff like that, but yeah, and then Lion's Head up there, and then Table Mountain back there. It's a very beautiful spot. If it wasn't cold, we'd probably go sit on that little chair over there. It's not focusing, yeah, the chair over there to watch. But because it's a bit cold right now, we're just gonna watch from the car while the sun sets. see the sunset and I'm going to get home and do the cost and calculations for how bougie this day was and also how much I saved or was over budget and yeah why hmm. nothing because you just look you're just looking like you want to say something 
Oh, okay. Yeah, the sunset is not done. No, I just like doing it as. Okay, I am back home in my filming station, hence all the lights. I don't know if it's too bright. But yes, I'm back home and the day is done. I've had a super bougie, extremely bougie actually, um, work day. I mean, eating kudu on a work day. But I'm going to calculate now how much I've spent and all of that and then see if, you know, it works. Because part of this is, yes, I plan, but it is also kind of experimental because not all the places have I been to and I'm going to try and keep it to places that I haven't been to. So it's like fun and new and exciting for you guys and things like that. So one petrol definitely cost me a hundred rand. That's how much I filled up. And by the time I got back home, it was almost about to hit where it started. So the petrol was definitely a hundred rand. The second thing was then working out. I got a free training session. And like I said, a hack to that, if you don't want to pay, pay for the gym fees, which I also don't pay for technically, um, is like you being nice to the people and also getting a friend who has a membership fee and then they can like give you a day in for free. So the gym and the actual professional trainer session, that was also free, which would have cost, I think I said 300 Rand a day for just the trainer without even calculating how much it would cost for the gym but the trainer would have been 300 rand and that cut out and then the next thing was what was meant to be breakfast which would which would have been in the budget but became lunch that i spent 245 rand so um i was a little bit over budget for that one so that's 245 rand that i spent there then afterwards I came home, I did have a little snackety snack at home, which obviously was free. And then I went to work at Starbucks. And at Starbucks, I got my drink for free. And that's another hack that I didn't say, actually, it's a hack that I really wanted to say, is that do the loyalty cards. Like I used to be so scared of loyalty cards, especially when you get into the store and they're like, do you want to get a loyalty card or whatever? And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what if I'm going to end up paying so owing or paying something and all that? You don't. Most loyalty cards, you don't. I have a loyalty card for Cotton On and I'm going to use that one in my house to dress bougie on a budget, um, you know, low reward and all that. And then also for Starbucks, when they told me to get like the loyalty app and all of that stuff, at first I was skeptical, but since I've been using it and building up the points and things like that, today I was able to get a free drink at a very, very beautiful Starbucks on the beach and it just oh, it was amazing so that whole bougie moment at starbucks was free basically the only thing i paid for was petrol to get there and then the drink itself was free so loyalty cards that you don't pay for loyalty cards that you don't pay for that you can sign up for always 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 do that so starbucks is just a loyalty app and then every time you buy you load the actual money that you're going to buy the drink from or like let's say your drink costs 35 rand you load 35 rand onto the app and then you pay through the app and it gives you points that's all you have to do you don't even have to pay more than what the actual drink costs every time you buy you just load exactly how much you need to pay for the drink and that is what you pay through the app as long as you're paying through the app it gives you points and when you get points i think it's every 175 points you get a reward so like a free drink and all these different things and then you get gold level member and i'm, I'm a couple hundred points away i think like, well i think i'm less than 100 points after today even though i use my thingy still got points and stuff so i'm a couple points away less than 100 points i think away from gold member and then there's more peaks and things like that so yeah so starbucks which would have cost me because i got the venti and i think that um, yeah i think that venti was probably like 55 rand so that was free and then a beautiful beautiful sunset to end off the day after working and also i mean it was working i did my work but it was also just a really good day got a beautiful sunset for absolutely free because it was on the way home it literally i took the route that i've been taking home on the way home so part of the petrol and yeah my day cost me 345 rand and it was super bougie so i think that is a success bougie on a budget a little bit 45 rand over my my intended budget but like i said if you don't plan things will like fall off and things like that so planning is essential to make sure that you stay on budget and things like that but otherwise 345 rand for the day that i had i think is pretty good 
comment down below if you agree or if you think so and yeah then let me know if you guys like this series if you enjoyed this video please let me know um if i should carry on maybe <laughs> i thought it was really good but maybe you guys are like meh we could have like figured that out on our own it's okay um but the whole point is that i do find places that do look great do look bougie and also save you guys a lot of money i feel like 345 rand is wow especially in cape town people spend like thousands of rands in cape town doing similar things in one day so i think 345 round was quite the save including transport and if you're using the my city i believe it's less it's like 50 or 60 rand less than that as well so yeah pretty good let me know if you liked this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below so that i do know and we can interact about it so i can also improve certain things and all of that i'm really open to that i want to make this better i want to make this informative it probably is a very long vlog but like you guys know me i do long vlogs and yeah comment oh. <laughs> and yeah subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me and my content and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when i post new videos that is all for me for today i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.